Hi friends, welcome to Green Coach. This is Vasa Subbarao along with Manu welcomes you to Green Coach. In Green Coach, today we are discussing about water management. Green Coach offers online tutorial for various horticulture subjects. Today we are dealing with the concept of scheduling of irrigation. Let's start our today's class. Scheduling irrigation. It is nothing but the scientific knowledge on how to irrigate and how much to irrigate. It is scientific knowledge on how to irrigate and how much to irrigate. By the scheduling of irrigation, by having the knowledge on scheduling of irrigation, we can increase the water user's efficiency and crop yield. We can increase the water user's efficiency and crop yield. Let's see the advantages of scheduling of irrigation. It enables the farmers to schedule water rotation among the various fields to minimize crop water stress to maximize yields. If the farmer has knowledge on scheduling of irrigation so that he can use water efficiently so that the yield will be increases and it also reduces the cost of uh, water and labor means if we know how much water the plant takes we will correctly give the irrigation there will be no excess uses of water means there will be no excess irrigations means there will be no water cost and no labor cost it lowers the fertilizer loss by leaching and runoff and deep percolation to minimum if we give excess of water, the fertilizers will run off with that water. If you give irrigation particularly, means in certain amount, in a particular amount, it won't be excess. There will be no water logging condition and there will be no fertilizer losses. It increases the crop yield and crop quality. If you give better irrigation, required irrigation, the crop yield and quality automatically increases. And it minimizes the water logging condition. It also minimizes the water logging conditions. It controls the salinity problems. It controls the salinity problems in the root zone depth. It controls the salinity problems in the root zone depth. Uh, let's see the different criteria for scheduling of irrigation. There are three different criteria for the scheduling of irrigation. Where soil water is in, climatological factors and the plant indices. The three different criteria are soil water regime, climatological factors and plant indices. The soil water regime includes field and appearance method, depletion of available soil moisture, and the soil moisture tension. The climatological factors includes cumulative fan evaporation, uh, potential evapotranspiration, and IW by CPU ratio. And the plant indices includes visual symptoms and uh, sand come soil plot technique, plant population, indicator plant, and the critical growth stress. Now we are seeing about the soil water regime. The soil water regime includes three concepts: your field and appearance, depletion of available soil moisture. And soil moisture tension. Let's see what do you uh, soil water regime is based on two concepts the available soil moisture and mo soil moisture tension. Available soil moisture is nothing but the moisture available between the field capacity and permanent wilting point. The moisture available between the field capacity and permanent wilting point can be termed as available soil moisture. And soil moisture tension is the tenacity by which the water is held between the soil particles. The tenacity by which the water is held between the soil particles. I had drawn a graph for you. These are the two soil particles and the water is held between them by tension. It is called the soil water tension. And between field capacity and permanent wilting point, amount of water available is called available soil moisture. Let's see about, uh, let's, let's have a glance about the two diagrams. Then you can understand better. And let's see the field and appearance of uh, soil water and regime. Field and appearance. Field and appearance is nothing but it is based on how, we, how the soil felt when you took it in the hand. And it is based on the visual observation. If uh, there are several criteria for this, at above field capacity, if you take the soil and you want to make and you want to make it into a ball, the ball does not forms, and the water comes out from the soil. Above field capacity, if you want to make a ball, the ball does not forms and water comes out from that ball. At field capacity, ball forms, but you can felt the wetting outline. At field capacity, the ball forms and you can felt the wetting outline. At 75 to 100 percent moisture, ball forms, but it becomes sticky. At 75 to 100 percent moisture, the ball forms, but it becomes sticky. At 50 to 75 percent moisture, maximum at maximum pressure, ball forms. At 50 to 75 percent moisture, at maximum pressure, the ball forms. At 25 to 50 percent moisture, ball forms, but no water can be felt. At 25 to 50 percent moisture, ball is formed, but no water can be felt. At 0 to 25 percent moisture, no ball formation takes this, as the soil particles are very dried. At 0 to 25 percent mo moisture, the ball formation does not take this, as the soil becomes very dried. Limits. It does not give satisfactory results and it needs more experience. It does not give satisfactory results and it, it needs more experience. Depletion of available soil moisture means 
how much of water depleted from the available soil moisture you should reschedule it means if you give 100% uh, 100% moisture to the plant and 100% is the available soil moisture 25% is lost this 25% is called depletion of available soil moisture this depleted amount of moisture can be scheduled by the irrigation okay for every plant there are certain critical sense to growth stages means moisture sense to growth stages at me, what do you mean by moisture sense to period means at this period even the water loss leads to the maximum yield loss the stage at which the water stress leads to maximum yield loss is called moisture sense to period at this stage at 20 to 25 percent of moisture loss you should irrigate the plant immediately at remaining stages even at the 50 percent moisture loss you can irrigate the plant at remaining stages at 50 percent moisture loss you can irrigate the plant but at the critical moisture level or critical stage of growth you should give the plant irrigation even if the more if the depleted available soil moisture is 22 to 25 percent soil moisture tension we have already seen what do you mean by soil moisture tension it is a tenacity by which the water is held between the soil particles it is measured by using tensiometer and it is expressed in bars if uh, you took, took the effect to roots on death you fix one tens tensiometer uh, tensiometer at above root zone dip, one at below beyond root zone dip. One tensiometer you should fix it above the root zone dip. One tensiometer should be fixed beyond the root zone dip. The tensiometer which is placed above the root zone dip will will tell you how much to irrigate. You should you should give on the irrigation until the tensiometer which is placed beyond the root zone dip shows the lower readings. The tensiometer which is placed above the root zone dip gives the knowledge to how much to irrigate. And the tensiometer which is placed beyond the root zone depth gives when to stop. Means when its value becomes lower, you should stop the irrigation. Let's see the summary. In this class, we had seen the scheduling of irrigation. It is the scientific knowledge on how much to irrigate and when to irrigate. It gives the maximum means and reduces the crop losses. Advantages for the maximum yield can be obtained and the water, water stress can be decreased. And the fewer irrigations are required. Water cost and labor cost should be decreased and uh, percolation loss ah. will be decreased and net returns are increased water logging problems are solved fertilizer runoff can be avoided and salinity problems can be controlled we had seen the different criteria under that we had seen what is the soil water regime and in this we saw what is the field and appearance method depletion of available soil moisture and soil moisture we had seen that the available the soil water regime is based on available soil moisture and soil moisture tension. We had seen that what is field and appearance method and what is depletion of available soil moisture and what is soil moisture tension. And that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching the InCoach videos. Please like and subscribe our channel for further video updates. We'll update you soon with another video. This is Vasa Subbarov along with Banu signing off for today. Thank you friends and share maximum. Thanks for your support. If you want to give us any suggestions, please comment them in the comment section. Thank you.